Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and today I will show you a couple of tweaks and tricks that I can do on this device. So jumping straight to it, we're going to begin with the display refresh rate. So if we go into the settings um, and under the display right here, you should find, um, is it right here? Yep, there it is. So you have high refresh rate, tap on apply. And now the display is in 60 or 120 hertz. Now, because the video that I'm recording is only at 60, and even if I will record it at 120, you will not be able to see it because YouTube will downscale it to 60. Uh, you will not be actually able to see how this looks and feels. Uh, but trust me, this is one of the things that is well worth uh, enabling and. Uh, just adds this amazing smoothness to everything you're doing on your device. Basically doubles the amount of data that's being displayed uh, on the display uh, every second. So before, if you would scroll um, scroll down really quickly, uh, for instance, for one second, you would get 60 images on the display display to you really quickly. Now you're getting twice as much, 120. So everything is now so much smoother and overly feels like the device is snappier and just it's an amazing feeling with the 120 hertz. Okay. So after I'm done um, basically being excited about the 120, we can uh, then jump back into the settings to the dark mode. And it's also under the display. Right at the top, you have the light and dark mode. You can just tap on the dark. Everything changes to dark. And all the background right here, uh, apart from the grayish, uh, the, everything that is black is basically being turned off. So the battery will be also saved a little bit based on this uh, because every black area on the display will not need to be lit up and it's basically right now turned off uh, until the screen kind of like goes to that area. Um, so it does save battery, not, not much, but still saves a little bit. And also a lot of people like the darker tones of the device, especially when you're using the phone at night. Then moving on, we're going to go into the display resolution. Again, this is another thing located under the display settings. So right here, and we should have it somewhere. There we go, screen resolution. So right now it's set to full HD. So you also see that it's just a 1080p. It can go to 1440p. Uh, although in the 1440p, uh, you will not have the high refresh rate, as you can see, by enabling this, this uh, the 120 drops to 60 and you don't actually have the ability to bring it back up so it's a limitation of the devices more uh, basically how how performance how performance hungry this will be uh, by increasing the resolution you're also increasing the stress on the processor so it will not be able to display twice as much data on it so only at 1080p you will be able to have the 120 and personally, I don't really see much of a difference. Um, though, again, switching between them, uh, everything will be aff affecting the battery life. So 120 frames will decrease the battery. Um, if you drop it to 60, you will have more life. If you go from 1080 to 1440, again, you will drop in battery. But then if you were using 120, you might be basically even in terms of how much battery uh, the display will be using. So moving on, I'm going to go to a useful little thing. Uh, so when you swipe down normally on your screen, it will bring up the app tray. You swipe up, it does the same thing. But there's actually a setting that will allow you to swipe down from anywhere and it will bring up the notification panel. So because this is a fairly hefty uh, device, you won't have to actually reach all the way to the top to bring that down. And to get it going, let's go into the settings. And from here, we're going to go into... I think it's also under the home screen uh, or display. See display and there it is, home screen. And swipe down for notification panel. So enable this, go back and now I can swipe down from basically anywhere and bring down the notification panel. So just a nice way to access the notification panel um, quicker and easier. 
and then we're gonna go into probably something that uh, a lot of people would like to change which is the uh, power key right here um, or I guess I should probably call it side key uh, even though volume records are also on the side so not really sure what Samsung is thinking here uh, the power key doesn't really break the laws of physics of being the only power key on, on side even though you have volume keys but as you normally know uh, every other device when you hold it, it just allows you to power off but no Samsung needs to keep their Bixby key and just jam it everywhere so you try to power off nope we changed that to be right over here uh, so now to power off you would need to hold the power key and I think volume uh, up or down whatever it is it doesn't really matter uh, but you can actually change that so it doesn't bring up the, the, the just stupid Bixby so let's go into the settings and from there we're gonna go into advanced features so I think it's somewhere on the bottom we go advanced features and in here we're looking for side key wherever that is it's right at the top I'm just blind so we have side keys and press and hold there we go now we got rid of the useless option so now if you hold it it brings up the power off menu which is just a godsend um, you also have a couple of additional things uh, for instance double press uh, you can enable or disable it so this will you double press it right now it's set to camera so it will just simply launch your camera um, but you can like I said change it to something else uh, open up for instance and it gives you a options of all the apps that you have installed and you can choose one that you want to launch so as you can see for instance now I chose uh, YouTube if I double press it opens up YouTube so just a nice way for you to change what it does um, now you can keep it on, on Bixby or whatever it is that, that it's set to if you like it uh, I'm just giving the options if you want to change it and get rid of the Bixby okay. so moving on we're gonna go to um, the option uh, also in here called link to Windows which will allow you to as you can see connect your phone to your computer uh, so you can access your text notifications uh, recent phone and more so this will if you enable this um, you will need to sign into Microsoft unfortunately um, and then on your Windows you will be able to receive your messages and notifications stuff like that you can enable this I don't really have a Microsoft account so I'm not gonna go through it but you will just follow their guide and then you can use it on a computer kind of like um, uh, Apple has the their um, their messages up or whatever it's called where it also is able to receive it on your iPhone notifications for instance on the uh, Mac so this is the equivalent of just for the Android now if you're using this a straight up Google uh, phone you can also do that uh, or not Google phone but uh, Google messages um, which some devices have just the stock uh, Google, uh, messaging app I believe that this is the Samsung version of it so that's uh, might, might might be using the uh, the Microsoft one but there's also another one uh, for the messages which I believe I have which let me just quickly go to it so you can see um, if I can find it really quick but I think it's in settings nope I know that if you're using the oh there we go so on here as you can I'm just gonna quickly show that I'm using the normal Google messages uh, and you can link it as well through a QR code um, but this uh, this way on the Google one it works through a web browser so you go to your web browser and go to I think it's just Google messages and it brings up the QR code and then you scan it with your phone and they link together and you have just a normal window for messages on your computer and it basically links the messages uh, to the web browser so we can send and receive messages as well on your computer um, so yeah now moving on we're gonna go into game launcher which is more for all the people that play games on their phone and Samsung has their built-in game launcher right here which just adds a couple uh, additional like uh, 
well, improvements, I would say, to gaming, um, allowing you to block notifications only when you're launching it, improve the performance of the games. And when you're launching this for the first time, it also allows you to hide the game. So if I would have any games actually installed, uh, it will allow me to hide them from the entire device and just uh, show them in the app itself. And also, you can see add to home screen. I'm just going to cancel it already as in the app tray. And there's also updates, so I'm not going to bother with it for now. Okay, uh, so once you launch it, um, you would have all the apps right here. Uh, but because well, I don't have any games right here, there is nothing showing there. But if you would, you will then uh, have them accessible through here where you can increase their performance by limiting everything else if you launch them through the game launcher. And also, if you decided not to hide them and you do want to do it now, you can go into the settings and you'll have the toggle right here, hide games on home and apps. So then they will basically disappear from the app tray and your home screen everywhere where they are and it will just leave the game launcher uh, app where you can then launch your games from here. Just a little improvement to accessibility and also how, uh, how enjoyable I would say it is to play the games on the phone. Um, just a little improvement to it. Um, yeah, so. Moving on, we're going to go into the animation speed and I believe there is a built-in Samsung way of uh, increasing the animations and the advanced section. So again, let's go into advanced features and let's see if there is something. Am I blind? I'm pretty sure there was something in here. I just can't seem to find it. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, the the one that comes in here somewhere. I can't really bother looking at it. It's not like it's gonna change much. Um, just I think whatever it changes, it does it so it does so little of, of a change that it's very basically useless in my opinion. So you can check it out if you can find it. But what I'm going to show is a different method of achieving the reduction of animations uh, in a far greater way. So we would need to go into, again, settings and then about phone. And from here we're looking, I believe it's under software info. And build number right here. Tap on that seven times. Uh, pattern will come out or pin, password, whatever it is. If you have one set, if you don't, it will just give you the message right here uh, developer mode has been turned on and from there we just want to go into the developer options which is now right at the bottom right here on the main settings so when you tap on it scroll past halfway i believe um there it is you have these three options right here so window animation scale transition animation scale and animation duration scale and each one of them corresponds to a specific part of the animations so window is this window right here that just slid up and just as an example, I will set it to times 10. And now if I click it, you can see it just being absurdly slow. So everything is set to one. So by default, um, if you want to make it slower, you would go to 0.5. And now they will be twice as fast as you can see. So that is twice as fast. And if you want, you can also just remove it, which there we go. You can see now there is no animation just pops in. Uh, and you can do the same thing to all the other animations. So set it either to 0.5 if you want the animations to still be there, uh, but just greatly increased. Or if you wanted to get rid of them and just not have any animations, you would set it to off. And now everything is super fast, as you can see. If this would actually disappear, that would be nice. So yeah, as you can see, this will increase your animations all over the system so just a nice little change and the last thing that i wanted to show is the hiding apps option if you don't want apps to show I'll hold it right here and i believe in home screen settings and somewhere in here there we go hide apps so when you go in here you have option to hide apps and this hides them from your home screen and app tray so they're basically invisible on your device and for instance you can choose netflix as, as an example 
messages and now once we click on done you can see that messages disappeared it cannot be found here um, but if you start typing in messages you can actually search for it like so and the app is still usable you can open it up once you actually know that it for instance exists here and you want to type it in um, so as you also see netflix shouldn't be here either i mean let's let me just go back so you can see there is no Netflix anywhere here. And you can actually still launch it. If I would have an uh, update, I guess, to it. But yeah, so this would conclude the tweaks and tricks that I wanted to share. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.